The 2017 annual crime report released this week indicated that sex-related cases brought to the attention of the authorities were 16,862. 1,335 cases of rape were reported. The child-related crimes were 15,093. Among these were defilement cases and other cases of child neglect. But some civil society organizations believe the report is not comprehensive enough because physical and psychological crimes against children were not accounted for. They reported about uh, uh, child neglect and then defilement as the only forms of abuse. For us, we feel they left out other forms of abuse, like uh, uh, the aspect of uh, emotional abuse or psychological abuse, and then the physical abuse. We are wondering what really went wrong. Where are all of these forms of abuse reported? So we feel that Uganda police must really you know, explain clearly how are they recording these other forms of abuse. They believe these crimes have a lot to do in determining the children's future behavior. They are bound to become rapists because there's no emotional nourishment that was given. Everything to them is all about violence. They are bound to be thieves because everything that they own has never been given to them willingly. The child rights campaigners believe that normalization, tolerance and silence about these crimes is responsible for their increase. So it's very unlikely that such people even seek for help. And the ones who are seeing it happen, instead of coming in to say, don't do this, this is not acceptable, they'll say all these things happen. The inability of parents to protect their children and instead resort to blame games is also mentioned. When a child below the age of 18, boy or girl, is defiled, our question should be, who is this person defiling this child? They attribute the rampant sexual violence to adults and children in home settings, in schools, in workplaces and the community to blame on the victim instead of turning the attention to the perpetrators. You cannot believe the level, the level of backlash towards the victim. They are either blaming them for being careless or saying they are, they are not um, of a very moral upright people instead of turning the focus on who is this rapist, why did they do it? The justice system and the lack of protection for the victims has also been highlighted for the increase in sex-related crimes. When someone reports a case, first of all, it's like an open arena where everyone is going to listen in, including, unfortunately, the media will broadcast the details of what has been reported. That is extremely shameful and traumatizing for the people who are involved. The organizations also believe there is impunity in which the perpetrators are not held accountable for their behavior and that this type of crime is belittled. They have made proposals to solve the problem of growing sexual violence against children and adults. The ELSIs should play a very critical role because they are at the ground level. They need to call for those village meetings and let people know that all forms of violence won't be tolerated within that village.